Let's talk HVAC, PTAC, VTAC. Let's talk air conditioning. That sounds like fun, right? For an episode of Multifamily Collective. Is that me getting cabin fever? Not sure. <laughs> but uh, I, I find it highly interesting. Uh, I read an article today in the Multifamily Executive. Shout out to the Multifamily Executive team. Uh, the magazine, the blogs, I, I really enjoy the things that they author. So shout out to the team over there. Um, <clears throat> this one was titled, Meet the World's First AI-Powered HVAC System for Multifamily. Um, that's a claim I want to research because I'm aware of uh, another firm that is definitely high tech as it relates to HVAC. Maybe this is PTAC, VTAC, AI tech. Interesting. Anyway, that'll be another show. Topic for another show. The, uh, the, thing, I, the thing that I find interesting about this is the, you know, really under the premise of saving money, um, the AI is put against things like ambient temperature. So it, it, it measures the interior space uh, as it relates to ambient temperature, humidity, real-time occupancy, light intensity, and usage patterns. Um, it puts all that data uh, and puts machine learning against that data so that it really optimizes the heating and cooling effect for um, the apartment or the space that it's heating or cooling. Now, in case you don't know the difference between an HVAC unit and a PTAC VTAC, HVAC sits, it has a condensing unit that sits outside of the house. It has a heating unit that sits inside of the house, typically in an attic or in a closet. And you, you ha it's just a bigger system charged with Freon and so on and so forth. <laughs> you change a filter out. Uh, VTACs and PTACs, you, you've likely seen these in hotel rooms. So you go in and you see that little thing protruding from the wall. That, that is a, HVAC is a split system. This is just a self-contained system that does both heating and cooling. So uh, it's, it's very different in that respect. But the AI is what's really interesting to me. And I think that it really, it really is a, a, a putting technology against something that is otherwise not very efficient or not as efficient as it could be because you don't have this data that's going in there. It's not getting this real-time data in order to make adjustments for the heating and the cooling effect. Um, I think what becomes super interesting as it relates to AI is when you go beyond just this uh, calculating what the temperature should be at any given time, but rather <clears throat> the diagnoses in the anticipation of a breakdown in the equipment. So if the equipment is uh, pulling more amperage than is necessary to run the heating or to run the cooling germane to these items that the AI is put against in these VTAC and PTAC scenarios or the, the subject of this article, then you you could go in and do preventive maintenance. The, the machine can be smart enough to actually call the technician to go out and do the, the maintenance on itself. <laughs> so... Um, that's where I think a company like Modally has is, is really put together the entire ecosystem where uh, the, the unit itself can diagnose, self-diagnose, it can also call a technician. And that whole ecosystem of curating the, the HVAC technicians to go out and service those things, that's what Modally has really put together. So I think when you start to put machine learning against the, that part of it, <laughs> where you can use that data to really increase the quality of the future unit set, right? So all of that data coming in telling you that it's this component or it's this piece or it's this uh, stress on the system that is causing these things to break down. And if you just did X to increase the quality of the unit, um, you could further reduce uh, or you can lengthen the life of the, the actual product itself. So anyway, there are so many exciting things. This is, I think you're going to see more and more of this in the, um, certainly in the build space or the built space, but as it relates specifically to parts and pieces that are uh, mechanically oriented. So you're still a refrigerator, dishwasher, microwave, uh, HVAC units and equipment and other common area, more common area type, uh, uh, machines that, that run your, uh, or create the experience on an apartment community or in an apartment community. So anyway, very exciting stuff. AI powered HVAC systems for multifamily, um, exciting and more to come, uh, because I think there, this is just the beginning of AI put against, uh, machines. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.